This is engine code reader and I will show you how to use it in this very quick video. Engine code readers can be used on almost any vehicle. Only condition is your car must be equipped with OBD2 system. If you have vehicle younger than 25 years, the 99% will have OBD2 system. How can you confirm is by looking for your OBD2 port and that is how you connect your scanner. Okay, so you need to take the connector and look for OBD2 port which on most cars will be under the dashboard. Okay, so look under your dashboard. But there should be connector, plug it in and your code reader will start automatically. These code readers do not have any battery, they use power directly from your OBD port. Okay, and if you cannot find your OBD2 port, look for your interior fuse box. And also when you connect your scanner, it doesn't really matter if you have engine on or off. It's fine either way, but if your car is completely turned off, the scanner won't be able to communicate, so you need to at least turn on the ignition. We actually have check engine light, so we can use our code reader to see what is causing the issue. Most basic function of OBD scanner is reading fault codes. Select read codes, intake air temperature sensor 1, circuit high, bang 1. Okay, so most likely we have some fault going on with our air temperature sensor or mass airflow sensor because they are one unit in this vehicle. If you have better scanners like this Ansel AD530, you can press this information button. It will show you possible causes for the issue. Okay, so this is why even chip scanner like this can be very useful. Because when you got your check engine light, there could be literally thousand things causing the check engine. And now this scanner won't tell me exactly where is the fault. But now I at least know that the fault is in intake air temperature sensor. And now I need to figure out if the sensor is bad or the wiring is bad. Okay, so to see if the sensor is bad, we can look into engine life data. This data stream. Okay, so this is intake air temperature. We can try by increasing the RPM. So that means more air coming in, which should result in temperature drop dropping down if the sensor works correctly. See, it is already getting colder. Now I am sure that the sensor works correctly and the issue could be in the wiring or that is just some random fault. Sometimes you can get these random faults which you erase and they will never come back. And also while we are at this live data, this is probably the best function of the scan tools. You know, it doesn't matter if you have $20 scanner, if you understand this live data, they can really help you diagnose problem in your engine. You know, I would rather give my car to mechanic that works with $50 scan tool and understand this data than to someone that works with 2000 professional scanner but won't understand them and just change the part that is marked as faulty. Like right now we can see we got this code for intake air temperature sensor. If you take this car to car shop, half of them would just change the sensor and it wouldn't fix anything. But I would have to pay like 200 for sensor. I want this video to be short, but I have longer video where I explain basics of OBD2 scanners and I actually explain each of those data. I will link it up here. If you are interested in learning more, check it out. Okay, so this is live data. You can also see them as graphs. Not all of them, but some of them. This also depends on your code reader. Some won't show any graphs. Some show like four graphic values. This Ansel actually can display three different live data at once, which is pretty rare for code reader. So engine RPM and intake air temperature. Okay, I have them selected and to show graph, I need to press escape. Okay, see, we increase the RPM and the temperature is dropping down. With code reader, you could also erase codes and get rid of check engine light. Before you do that, don't rush with erasing the codes because it will erase a bunch of other data that you could need. And I will show you first freeze frame data. So basically freeze frame data are similar to this live data. The trouble code we have for intake air temperature sensor when default was stored in our ECU it also stored the live data exactly from that moment when default happened so we can see what was going on in our vehicle and it looks like default happened with vehicle off see we have zero rpm zero speed okay so if I would erase this code I am also losing this freeze frame data for that code Another feature I want to show you is I am readiness or readiness monitors. I even have this button I am readiness. Okay, what this does, you have a bunch of monitors in your vehicle that are there to make sure that your emission systems are working correctly. And you have two types of monitors. The most important ones are continuous monitors and they monitor this system continuously through the whole drive. And that is misfire monitor, fuel system monitor 
and CCM is checking your sensors. These monitors are always running, these three, and if they detect fault, they would go yellow. Green monitor means everything is fine with this system, yellow would mean that either you have some fault in this system, or the test hasn't been run yet. If I erase codes, I will also erase this data, and all monitors will be yellow until the ECU run the tests and confirms that system is okay. We are taking your vehicle to state emission inspection. Look into these readiness monitors. If all of them are okay, that is good indicator that your car will pass emission test. Then you have vehicle information. It will show you some calibration IDs and also your VIN number. Okay, so now we can try to erase the codes. See, we have check engine. I press okay. And our check engine light is gone we successfully erase defaults. By the way, there are a few types of OBD codes. We could erase this code, but you also can run into codes that cannot be erased. Those codes are called permanent, and they cannot be erased, not just with code reader, but with any scan tool. For example, if you have some, if you unplug the sensor or you, or you have broken wiring, that's permanent fault and you cannot erase it with scanner because the fault is still there. But this fault was current fault that can be erased. Now let's see the readiness monitors. See, we have the misfire fuel and CC mist continuously, so they already have been tested and shows OK. But by clearing codes, I also reset my other monitors and I need to drive the car maybe for a few hours until these tests will be completed and shows OK like these three. Also, my freeze frame data is gone because I erased the codes. These are the basic functions of code reader. This Ansel AD530, very good code reader. I will link it in the description. And I also did video comparing six different code readers. So if you are looking to buy code reader, definitely check that video next. It will be somewhere here.